Hey Hello. everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sunday, Sunday Tea Book. Episode 24, uh, we're working our way through the Oolong, Oolong Tea Center. category. It's been super awesome. Um, today we've got a Wizard of Oz theme team, which is going to be super fun to cover. That's right, if you guessed Dom Ding, Ding you are dong. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, oh, yeah, welcome everybody. Yes, are you... We're entities. We're very, very mm. excited about today's tea we're gonna brew. As the holiday season really ramping up, we are gonna start to brew something quite. I'm gonna throw expensive. it up on the YouTube too. Right. I'll this throw it up. Nice close-ups there on YouTube. Ayo, for ayo, every time I drop. Every leaf is amazing here. So we're brewing Rogue Matao Yan. Yes. I've got the website up for the YouTube folks, so they can have a quick look at the. Uh, on the website where to find the description of this supreme tea. So for those of you who not don't... Not supreme tea. Oh, not supreme, but just this exquisite tea. But it's supreme level. It is a really, really, really great tea. Um, you'll notice from the long description up there on the YouTube that this one needed plenty of words to describe. You can mm -hmm. also find out when it was harvested. Um, the bre basic brewing instructions are all up there on the website. I put a little, a few more clips of <laughs> close-ups of the pictures are on the YouTube. Yeah, Folks on show Instagram... A little bit more. <laughs> On Instagram, if you want to head over to the YouTube, we'll show you here. That's the best we can do. But Sunday Tea Book, I'll start right away. Mm -hmm. What is Sunday Tea Book all about? Um, oh, look at those leaf. On the YouTube, Ayo. we see the leaf dropping into the, um, what did we decide to call that? Tea caddy? Whatever, the little thing that you um, kind of put your tea, get tea ready for the guy bowl. one. Your tea display bowl. And there, look at that. So it's time to drink that tea. Oh boy, is it ever. We're super excited to drink that tea today. Mm. Hey, Carlos on Instagram, welcome to the stream. Ryan, and Igor, Cindy, hello, JS. JS and Igor, hello Cindy. on YouTube. Great to see you guys. Yes, and Ryan Smith. Yeah, hello. welcome to the stream. Um, so again, I don't know if we've said it enough, but we're going to say it quite a few times. We're brewing Rogue mm -hmm. Matoyan today. Um, oh boy, really excited about this top grade super super great um, material so the leaf that we're talking about here is top quality the processing is top quality the terroir I, the terroir is one of the best. yeah yeah the matoyan is a kind of a, a rock almost like a little mountain based on the height it's really mm -hmm. tall like those areas right, with and, a little temple right in front of it yes really uh, if you check up uh, our uh, vlog on uh, we mm -hmm. something something one of the Wuyi vlogs <laughs> i don't think the description's down there yet but we're gonna put it mm. so keep an eye out for that yes if you haven't it's seen it it's one of the best uh, terroir mm. and it really brings out that cinnamon that mm. Mm, spice like uh, a little bit um how should i say not pun not really pungent but that unique and strong mm. masculine powerful, powerful of masculine Rogue. element yep Yep. Yes. Anyway, Definitely. I'm going to jump into that. Yeah. So while she does that, I'll give you guys a quick uh, rundown of what is Sunday Tea Book. Okay. Sunday Tea Book is where we get together uh, an idea created by you guys. And what we do is we get together, we take a book, a paper or an article that is full of great information, but very hard to access in the West. And we translate it live with you here on YouTube. I know that for the folks on Instagram, we, uh, we're going to say goodbye pretty soon because we actually bring the book up or the paper onto the screen. So you're going to want to jump over to the YouTube side to get the best experience possible from this, um, which is, okay, why do we do the translation live? That sounds so boring. Over the last five years, so initially when you guys gave us the idea, my, that was my first thought. Wow, that's going to be super boring and hard to sell, to be honest. But actually, it's been great. And I realized after the first couple why. Over the last five years, I've been dealing with Chinese tea. I'm, I was brand new. I'm not new anymore, but all of those learnings, I have to ask a million questions and get into beyond just the surface level, into the culture, the meaning of different words and how come things are confusing. And this has been gold, absolute gold for my learning and my accelerating my learning about tea. Mm -hmm. And I realized the more we do this, the more this... It is working. It's actually seemed to be very useful for you guys. If you yes. like it, and we shout have a out lot on of the uh, good questions from lots of great yeah. questions. You guys give us lots of great help with those struggling words, the exact way to describe that the best. So, um, you know, if you've been enjoying the series, give us a shout out in the YouTube chat, in the Instagram chat. If you've been enjoying the series, let us know. Um, we're gonna keep doing it. We're super excited to. And be we have teacher Mia. We have 
<laughs> we have tea trivia today. It I become did a it. new tradition. All right, so that's what Sunday tea book's all about. Mm -hmm. And yes, tea trivia is coming up, so stay tuned. If you're on the Instagram side, oh, already moving to YouTube. Good job, uh, good job, Carlos. I'll say hola when you come back on the YouTube side. Cool, because mm -hmm. that's where the tea trivia is going to be happening, folks. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, a little bit about the book, maybe. Yes. Today's book for yes. anybody who's new. Um, I think, Johnny, I think you've been here before. Ryan, let mm -hmm. us know if you're new, if this is your first time. We'd love to say shout out. Is the yen cha the same yen, yen you see in yen cha? Is the yen, rogue yen cha? I think that's what you're asking. That's and a yes. great question. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, the same character and uh, same meaning. Oh, Mato Yan. Mato Yan. Great yeah. question. It's a yes. location. Mato is the name of the uh, the place. Yan means that huge rock. Rock, yeah. Mm. yeah. Continuing on my mom's book, a China Tea, which has the Chinese and the English version mm -hmm. in it. However, Chunky monkey English, though. Yeah, the English <laughs> version seems a little bit hard for mm -hmm. first language person. There, you've got to do some guessing and that's what we're going to get into together in a few minutes. Yes, and mm. there's something lost in the translation Definitely. or stuff. So mm -hmm. um, it's a very great book for those of you guys who just get into tea. Uh, if you ever wonder what tea tools are, like uh, what is this little guy is. We have uh, uh, done many episodes covering almost all mm. aspects of Chinese tea and uh, even tea tools, tea accessories. Yeah, very so, thorough. Yes, very sorrow. That will really give you a good foundation about uh, Chinese tea from yeah. the Chinese perspective. On the other hand, if you have been in China, uh, familiar with Chinese tea and the culture a little bit, this book really helps organizing a lot of stuff we know because we kind of learn a little bit everywhere from different mm. vendors, merchants yes. and stuff but that sometimes there's different translations mm -hmm. and confusions and you know, through this kind of a discussion like live translation uh, sessions, it really help us learn from you and uh, maybe clear out some of your confusions. Yeah, so, and it really sets a great baseline, exactly yeah, what Jen is saying. It's a really great book for, you know, beginners or yep. more advanced And to people. refresh for advanced, it's not even just a refresh, also sometimes come back to those nuances that were missed. It's a great book. Yeah. And we're excited to be more than uh, about two thirds of the way through we really made our way. It's quite a it's quite a tome, so we're going to be finishing. This up. is what we need to do, and I've already mm -hmm. scheduled. Uh, I don't think I scheduled, but I've already have planned to schedule that. It's a, a total of thirty six episodes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. So we're getting really close. There's light at the end of the tunnel, folks on Instagram. Uh, oh, Svingensai, Svingens. I think I was close. Svingensai said, "What are we having? We're having a Matao Yan." Okay, we're super excited. Rogue this is a Rogue Wei Matao Yan, super delicious, uh, exquisite terroir, exquisite um, material, and exquisite processing. We're really excited about having this tea today while we go over Sunday Tea Book. All right, but if you're on the uh, Instagram side, we're going to say goodbye now because we we're going to bring the book right up on the screen in YouTube. We're going to go through section by section and cover this. And we're also going to talk about the tea that we're drinking plenty when we go there. And I won't say most importantly, but pretty fun. What's coming up next is going to be tea trivia time. That's on the YouTube side, Instagram. So I'm going to reach out. I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to say bye bye. I hope to see you on the YouTube <laughs> side. Um, Pico Gavin, I hope to see you there. Sting and Sai and uh, Carlos, I think already head over. Bye bye for now. Boop. End the video. Share to IGTV. Pick a little thumbnail that looks cute. Cute enough. Next. And post. Title required. I oh, I gave a title. That's so annoying. Sunday I do the title Santa. beforehand. Oh, Sunday yeah. tea. Oh, maybe because book. it went to sleep. That's I why. I don't know. Super Sunday annoying. Santa, I should have saved my Rogue Wei but I couldn't wait to brew it. Today I'm drinking the Rogue Wei from the Oolong Master set, which is also very nice. Yes. But the Matoyan was over the top. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're so jazzed about this. I'm so and excited. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, right? <laughs> Uh, but it might sound like that. So, I don't think as so. tea vendors, we have to sample a lot of teas, mm. and especially mostly me. And I try to bring him, so we do a little trainings and everything, and he can know what's going on and stuff. But at a certain point, when you go through a lot of tea, they're not all as good, you know. Of course, they make me really fr. Oh. <sighs>
and it makes me really frustrated and when I have some good tea coming up I'm just really thrilled for that wow. that uh, chocolate is not even dark chocolate it's no. more of a sweetness it's, of it's, that cocoa like. it's almost like milk chocolate cake chocolate cake it's got mm. some it doesn't have the bitter or acid like a tanniness no, of the dark chocolate but it's not as sweet but it's just cocoa <sighs> sweet does baked buttery with a little bit of that so fernanda rocky says, hey fernanda everything is such a learning for me oh great but i'm glad you great like it that's super really um and cindy says uh i should oh you read that yeah right. so and later on she continued i really enjoy brewing the three cultivars side by side yes we love mm. that yeah can i tell them about that yes what? About I don't the know. coming video. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. So stay tuned because we um we're actually going to be doing <laughs> what a video. If I say no, they're like, oh. oh. I just leave it. I leave it like that in this cliffhanger for them. There's a bunch of things I want to say. First, when you were saying about trying different teas, I'm not gonna rinse. When you were saying about trying different teas and sometimes they're not so good, like we did have that experience just like yesterday. I think we had um, well, also rogue no. No, it was actually a Denzong, but I thought it was a rock tea. It was a little bit overdone, right? So that happens. And, um, but today we had this wonderful shupuar. Oh my gosh, super great material. Thick, mm. thick like molasses in my mouth, which doesn't sound appetizing, but do you know that watery thickness from great ancient tree material? It was like right away, first infusion, boom. Uh, really beautiful. That's mine. Oh yeah, please. Sorry. No, that's okay. Let's go to the. No, we're class. getting that a kind of a vibe of that is mine. This is yours. Oh yeah, we're we definitely have that. that. So because I love the blue one and the purple one. Oh, it one. matches my shirt today too. Look at that, and here's hers. And here's His and mine. hers. Oh, Jesus, I love those. Really pretty. These right? are hand etched little um, super dainty teacups. So here we go. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna to switch to this view actually. Wow. Let's try and uh, try and describe this. Good luck, by the way. Wow. It's the perfect balance between um, Roast and floral. And creamy. Creamy. Mm -hmm. Remember that? It's a touch. It's not overly heavy. No, not at all. Yeah, sorry. It just was quiet. These, if you've ever had a really great tea, I think you can relate to how hard it is to describe. All those flavors and tasting will kind of fly out the window because they seem insufficient and a little bit cheap <laughs> compared to the actual flavor and it's so hard to it's, it's just you um unique it's so well rounded it's integrated. not yes integrated it doesn't mm. uh, stand out as one element that's right i guess i just repeat what you said mm -mm. Mm -mm. no not at all that was much clearer you've got that touch this is a, what I would call, it has boldness. It has boldness, but boldness sort of belies the, uh, the sophistication of this tea. It's not bold, it's more like um, confident. Um, it has uh, an eggnog smell. Really? Oh like boy. if you strip that tea element, mm. fundamental, that creaminess, I think it was because I had right. egg nod. I, okay, I made it something like an egg nod and a homemade soy milk. Mm. It's together. a pretty nice it's, blend actually yes, with the yes. right egg nod. And it just, I guess it's the creaminess that reminds me of the egg nod. It's got a little, it's not quite tart, but the way it wraps around the tongue, you've got some... You've got that full flavor, a slutch of, a slutch, a touch of tart, some sweetness. You've got that mineral, mineral, rocky granite. Yeah, the breathe out is wonderful. I'm trying not to talk too much because of that. I try to not to slurp too much while you're talking. Mm. <laughs> I hope. Well, I think it's, it's okay. They'll let us know if they mm. can't hear over the mm. slurping. 
Okay, guys, so, oh boy, that is good. I'm gonna have one more. Yeah, pull in, pull in. We're gonna have an earthquake. Trying to be smooth. I really like it. it's close. That's an interesting floral. That is an interesting, more like a realistic, almost like a little bit of a stinky floral, like mm. a real flower, not that super sweet perfumey. Mm. Really nice. Oh, oh boy. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I'm a little bit like oh, I'm relaxed. dizzy now. I have yes, I have been like a, Where was we I? have been working really hard. Like a, oh yeah, there's no weekend or anything for us for the last few weeks. But mm. some weekends good, are overrated. Yeah, this good tea just have that. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna chill this. Again. You know, so it's like, like um, very good. Anyway, yeah. Read some, uh, yeah, you read some comments. I'm gonna do a right. bit of housekeeping about this Discord, which we see on the screen here. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are familiar with Discord. You can go ahead. There's a link down below also if you haven't joined our Discord server. But if you want to, there's a link in the description below. I'm experimenting with this. I think it will work if you guys want. When we're on this screen, mm -hmm. if you guys log into the YouTube live chat, you'll actually be able to talk to us on YouTube. We will hear you here. And so will the YouTube live should hear you, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So you could just say, hey, what about blah, blah, blah. And I would hear you say, hey, what about blah, blah, blah on my little speakers here. And then I would answer you and you would hear my answer on YouTube. So if you want to try that, it's out there. It's connected and set up. When we're not on this page, we'll still hear you, but the YouTube people won't. So, um, you know, don't scare us. Like if you were to yell boo, it might, we might jump out of our seat because we don't see the screen right now. Anyway, that's something I'm experimenting with. You can try that again, link down below. I won't say too much more about that. Um, of course you can, we love the, all the activity and typing and questions. If you're more comfortable with the YouTube chat, by all means, just okay. throw them in there. We're going to stay up on top of those, which Jen is catching up quickly right now. <laughs> right. I think you agree with me that the, my cup really matches my sweater. It's almost the same. I just love, I really love this kind of royal blue type color. And, um, Johnny asked, uh, where can we buy the book? Mm, I know we some, get that a lot. Yeah, we get that a lot. I don't think they have official outlets in North America mm. or overseas. Uh, mm. I had someone who told me they bought this book at the airport in China. So, uh, yeah, that's but, pretty much not. Um, we will look into. Yeah, we'll look into it. But for your for your um, listening pleasure today. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I don't want to toot our own horn, but arguably even better than the book, down below there is a link to the finished translation. It's actually going to be pretty helpful if you follow along. Every time, like if you pull that up and keep it somewhere handy while we're going through the live today, mm -hmm. every now and then we're going to come up with a term that we think is a better, uh, just to leave that in Chinese. And we have the pinion in the mm -hmm. uh, finished translation. So you can see when we say something like um, um, Hui Gan, you can see how it's spelt in pinyin and you can even see the characters if you're into that. So the finished translation link is down below. So that's where you can get the book right now this second if that's sort of good enough. But I know the kind of the spirit of your question was where can you get the hard right, copy. Right. It's nice to have something to touch, right? We're tea people. We like to smell and touch and be, you know, visceral with things. So, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's a cool question. Guys, you're probably wondering where the heck... Uh, oh. What was your oh, yeah, yeah. shake, shake? I thought tea trivia. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. You're probably wondering where is tea trivia? That's why yes. I force you okay. to say why you're shaking. So let's get on with it. Let's okay, tea trivia, right? First, let's bring up the screen. What time is it? Tea, tea trivia, trivia time. time. Oh, high five for the cheesiest couple on tea YouTube. Okay, cool. Okay. Guys, this is trivia time. It's just fun. Take a guess. It can be wild. It can be random. It's okay. Mm -hmm. These are just to have fun, kind of ease us into the session. So we, without further ado, did we cover all the comments? I think so. Most so of jealous. Them. Sorry, JS, good. but it's kind of it's a little bit on purpose. The blue cup doesn't. It's yeah. a really good. They want me to drink more. Make me want to drink more Rogue. Yeah, really good one. We need tea trivia intro action. Igor was <laughs> yelling out right? for it. There you yes, go, Igor. He knows it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you go, yeah, tea trivia time. Let's rock and roll, guys, with question one. Okay, well, I won't make you wait anymore. I've been okay, guys. Ma Tao Yan means a horse's breath, b cat's paw rock, c horse head rock, or d horse puck rock. Okay, that is question one. Ma Tao Yan means horse's breath, cat's paw rock. You can type in the letter into the chat. You can write the whole whole question again or the whole answer whatever you prefer horse head you can yell it out on uh, discord but i won't know who you are probably i might or horse puck rock so let's see what we got here 
Silly says, I hope we will not be expelled in front of the class for wrong answers. Not at all. Not That's at right, all. Cindy. This is all about fun. Do you see our She's... answer? So the spirit here is being goofy. <laughs> right? Cat's paw rock. It could be ma. Mm. I just want to say ma. this cup, the shape, uh, mm, it's, it's nice a really long, right? nice yeah. shape. This long elog. Here, go to the brew camp. How do you say that? Elongate? Elongate? We'll head over to the brew camp. We'll be back, guys. Think about your answers. Take a quick look. Oh, right. they're gone. Do you call that elongate? Like longer rather yeah. than rounder? Yeah. yeah. This kind of shape, if you fill the tea a little bit less, it's totally fine. It works almost like a Roma cup mm. or some melon cup. Right. It's really good for rock tea and a kind of oolong like Gongfu brewing. Okay, we got some answers rolling in. Oh, yeah. Cindy is guessing C. Mm -hmm. Fernanda says no idea. Take a guess, Fernanda. It's cool. JS says horse's breath. Carlos, <laughs> considering that there's a tea called, I should have prefaced this with, there is a tea called Yasha Siang, which means duck shit tea. So all bets are off here, really. All the guesses are good. Uh, Carlos says C for, just for, for, for saying, yeah. Igor says, I'm gonna copy Cindy C. Okay, guys, nailed it. Okay, the answer is C. Uh, Horsehead Rock. There mm. is a. I've been there. If you check out the video where we go up there, we climbed up a hill. Some lady saw me putting on sunscreen. And said, "Oh my goodness, he's so white." And Not putting on sunscreen because we use a, a physical physical sunscreen, and it's really white because we put all over the body. Yeah, and so it was use super it. hot that day, so yes. I I, just, I didn't rub it in. I just left it thick, <laughs> caked on. I was literally white titanium white if you know <laughs> physical sunscreen that's literally what's in it that makes it white so anyway fernanda guess d good guess fernanda the answer is c cindy you didn't lead the, the crew old lady astray said you were you could probably hear that in the video you said oh he wears sunscreen so white <laughs> yeah it's really cute yeah it's pretty loud she was pretty close to me yeah and um and indeed, I didn't understand her, but she told me what she said. It was pretty funny. So, guys, the uh, but the why it is called horsehead rock is the shape of the, the rock shape of the look rock almost. kind of look like a horse head, but mm. you got to really squinty, squinty, squinty your eyes up to make it work. I uh, feel like you, when you were drunk, it might look more like a horse head. Are, are those monks a bit, a bit into the sauce? <laughs> There's a temple. Probably not. Temple right Just, below. Uh, we like to make everything like a more animal like. Mm. There's like an mm. yeah, which means eagle's beak. Eagle's mm. beak. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Time for question two. The historic Western name of Taiwan is Tai Wolf, Tai Jing, Formosa, or Formica. Okay, so the historic Western name of Taiwan. Get it? Taiwan. One. Tai Wolf, Tai Jing, Formosa, or Formica. Okay, we'll let those go in while we talk about something else. What can I talk about? We got a video coming up. I kind of spilled the beans on that. I kind of want to talk. That's super. This is an amazing tea. That's what we can talk about. I'm going to smell this. <laughs> this is a really, you got to grab that and have the first smell. This mm. Gaiwan lid smell it is really fascinating. Changes. It changes pretty mm. quick because it's kind of the high aroma of the tea. So it captures, it's a great place where the floral elements will typically be caught. And that's what I'm getting here. That mm -hmm. very natural floral, not mm -hmm. a perfumey floral. It's got a little hint of that cocoa-y, mineral-y rockness, but the mm -hmm. floral is predominant. Grab that when it's warm again. Yes. Um, and boy, and the bottom cup is forever. This has just been sitting here for I don't know how long. Like a toasty brown sugar, a caramelized, a pretty heavy caramelized brown sugar. Mm. Well, I have to say this is an instant relax my You know what? Brands Ta and Taiwan everything. brown sugar, caramelized. Oh. Oh, matches the question that, that's a whole. <laughs> matches the question okay so I don't know where these uh, that's pretty ama amusing okay so um, I think that's where we were mm. Igor have a little laugh Cindy is guessing C Igor is guessing C JS mm -hmm. uh, so, so Ma Tao Yan is a location yes yeah, it is a, it's location. a location it's a really little like uh, in terms of is it a village or whatever it's actually this uh, rock with a garden underneath it in a temple so it's kind of a really 
you know, a spot. It's a very small, almost yeah. like a less than one to two kilo, kilo square. No, kilo square. How do you say that? Square kilometers? A square kilometers. Oh yeah, less, kilo I would say. Square. Yeah. So check out that video. You'll mm. get it. We pan over it. Yes, and that's very... kind of it. We, from, as we move the camera side to side, that is Mata mm. Yan. Yeah. Wu Yi is known for all of these micro terroir, hence mm. why they're called because micro. Because they're small. Yeah, really. And the geography is so crazy <gasps> fun. That it becomes that. I forgot. Oh. I forgot to post the full translation. Mm. Okay, it'll be up soon. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, it'll be up soon. Um, <laughs> I usually don't shout it. I didn't know I thought it was, but it's okay. It'll be up. It'll be up soon. It'll be up after. Okay, guys. Sorry. 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 No. Uh, so, distract him with trivia. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> good one good one okay so back to the answer the answer so cindy start out with c i remember that eagle yeah. come in with c uh jesus says c fernanda c js says b good guess carlos says c johnny says b we'll say c and b huh? and fernanda says there's no link for the full translation of the book today <gasps> oh. <gasps> sorry the and so yeah mostly c c is right formosa i don't know where it comes from um, uh, I didn't know that till I was here mm, in the mm. tea industry. Like in a, fact, I stole the normally, question. No, nobody calls that. No, like the, in when, it, when we have. Is anyone from it? Italy? I looked up some what other countries call it, and Italy still has Formosa in their name, which it could be wrong. I got right, a, right. I got all, I got that this from Wikipedia, and all they said in Wikipedia was the an alternate name for Taiwan is. And I realized this is very unlikely an Asian name, so I inserted the Western. I'm not sure if it's just a Western name, but I think it is I, I based on that. Remember, mm. they said it's based on that uh, imperial time, like uh, the, the Dutch. I think the Dutch the landed there. Colonial time. Yeah, I think the I Dutch established a trading post there. So I got to tell mm. you why question A, answer A is funny. So in Chinese, if you say one one, dog say one one, like that's the sound for dog. Oh, that's why I didn't so understand. I put, so I put Thai woof. As a funny alternate answer. On to question three, folks. The highest mountain on Taiwan is A, 9,632 meters, B, 3,952 meters, C, 12,966 feet for my friends in America, and D, 7,844 feet. The highest mountain on Taiwan, folks. How did you find that guy one lid? I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to give it to me. Oh, it's oh. the first hit that's really the precious one. I found so far it's all very precious and very enjoyable. It's ah, like, Portuguese also uh, hermosa in Spanish yeah. and fermosa. So they're still still call it that. So that's oh, what I thought. So I think the Italy, Portugal, Spain still maintain that uh, that sort of naming. So that's cool. Oh. And um, and Fernanda um, confirm. Yeah. So where are you guys all from? It's so fun to have such a global crowd. I really love that. Yeah. We've got Igor from Spain. Um, and if you're from the States or Canada, let us know what state you're in. We're super interested in that too. It doesn't have to be super exotic and, you know, from um, Brazil, like Fernanda. I hope you guys don't mind me telling which country you're from. It's pretty anon, right? Nobody will uh, find you based on your country. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the answers are rolling in at uh, B. I don't know. Everybody's guessing B. So I didn't trick anybody this time. B is the right answer. A is way too high. Um, I don't know about C or D. I made them up and I have no real gauge of how tall those are. Um, I guess D is pretty plausible. I'm really... C is out of the league. Right. Too high. I'm oh, really no. bad with feet or oh. something. They really change. Actually, C is what? the same as B. I put two really? right answers on this one in case my American friends guessed in feet. I didn't want it to be unfair. So I oh. think B and C are both the right answers. Don't hold me to that. I could be wrong. I'm doing the quick math here. Three, six, nine, oh, four times three is 12. Yeah, C should be equal to B if you do the conversion. So Cindy's from California. Yeah, thanks for shouting out. Jesus also in Spain. I'm saying your name wrong. I think it's Jesus. I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. Canada, woo, yeah, same province as y'all. All right, JS is in Ontario, like oh. us. It's really Ontario for those who aren't familiar with Canada. I shouldn't use my funny naming. And uh, Johnny is from Tennessee, yeehaw! Right on, Tennessee in the house. Carlos, Carlos over from Instagram is from Spain. 
and guess Ooh. is B, which is the right answer, folks. On to question four <sighs> for tea good. trivia. You guys nailed Are that. Are you going to do that to metal sound? The metal sound? Yeah, yesterday we talked about that. The metal, like, uh, uh, you know. Heavy the, metal? Or? Uh, heavy metal, like radio, that kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Try it out on this. I'll, I'll find a good spot to squeeze oh, it okay. in. I'll do that. I'm going to do some radio voice. It's really guys. good with the different voices. So the next question is, let me try and do a question in a radio voice. The T average, oh, T average rainfall. I made a typo. It's the average rainfall. The average rainfall on Taiwan is A, 1,344 millimeters per year, B, 420 millimeters per year, C, 6,996 millimeters per year, or D, 2,600 millimeters per year. Either of those, all of those are a lot of rain, I think, except maybe B. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is, the, uh, that is the question. It's average rainfall on Taiwan. I kind of focus on Taiwan for this one because of the uh, first tea that we're going to cover yeah. is uh, Dongding. Um, I've got some really good questions. Uh, well, I think there's only one left, but the last question has got some really, is also related to Dongding. I'm learning a lot too. Those I don't even know. Yeah, and uh, why did I put rainfall? It might seem uh, a little bit uh, random, like rainfall on Taiwan. How is that related? You're a tea channel. Well, rain is really important for tea, and all of these climates where tea flourishes, Wuyi, Taiwan, uh, Fujian, um, down in the south, uh, Guangdong, these climates are humid, for sure, very humid, and wet, and they get a lot of rain in their summer, typically, is the rainy season, and it gets, wow, rainy, and downpour rainy. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's really opening up nicely. If I'm really quiet, the base, it's just the because base of is that. really strong. I know, I know. This is really a, good this foundation. It's really hard to rock. describe. Like, uh, it's just when you have good tea, you know, oh. like that really, um, it's every element oh, during, wow. before, yeah. after, and it's uh, even in between. Today I have mm. been brewing quite uh, slowly because I really enjoy that. Mm. The breathing. Uh, the breathing. When you're done the sip. And the... also it's very moisturizing. It has a lot of return mm. sweet. I'm not in a hurry because I'm not as thirsty. And of course I didn't talk as much as you. So right. that's a, another reason, but it's just no, but yeah, the, one of the reasons we go quiet when we're drinking a tea like this is if you check out our video on mm. how to taste tea. Um, so Cindy talked about side-by-side -side tasting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the kit she bought that, that was curated by us to kind of really highlight this was a major accelerator for me in my tea learning. The other major accelerator was the how to taste tips that we share in that video. Jen shared those with me and I, sa and I said, wait, we got to make a video about this. This is a game changer on how to taste tea. It might seem crazy. Like, what do you mean how to taste? I put it in my mouth, I swish it around and I swallow it. Well, yeah, you could go that route. But there's a couple tips in that video that are game changers. And one of them is why we go so quiet is because you hold that in your mouth and you breathe in and out over the liquor. And with a tea like this, is divine. It's divine. Okay, back to tea trivia. Okay, we got okay. a ton of guesses here. Um, somos three. Yes, yeah, somos three. Okay, I don't know what that means. They're having a chit chat. That's totally fine. If you guys want to chat, I'm going to dig out some answers though. So we got a guess for A, B, D, uh, all over the map. This is good. We can mm -hmm. share shipping guys. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know, mm, mm, but D. So Johnny's going to guess D. Um, Carlos A, metric system rocks. Yes, it does. The metric system indeed rocks. And uh, the answer is, this was a tricky one, okay? Because it's a uh, rainfall, right? <clears throat> and some of them are obviously cheeky, 420 millimeters and the other one. But uh, the answer is 2,600 millimeters is the average rainfall per year. That's quite a lot. You think about that in meters, that's 2.6 meters. That's way taller than me in a year, rain. So I'm going to have trouble. Uh, I'm going to have to swim. I could guess, I wouldn't know, but I guess like a 420 is too low, 260, yeah. you know, a lot of tea regions is in that In that range. zone, right? That's 13 was plausible, thing. right? It's I tried to trick people with, uh, with 13 and mm -hmm. obviously 6,000, almost 7 meters. That's like, uh, whoa, that's, that's a bit too much, right? It's mostly yeah. a joke answer. And on okay. to our last question. Uh, there's a one, okay. One more question. <laughs> we use like 40 minutes. Where? Just does Dongding Tea get its name? A, from the village. B, from the legend. C, from the Wizard of Oz. D, from the mountain. I hope that letter C gave you a little chuckle, everybody. Dongding, <laughs> the witch is dead, folks. Dongding, the witch. 
Okay, I see an LOL from Johnny. I think that was in response to uh, C from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it could be, you never know. <laughs> All right, so where does, oh, this is so good. Right? I'm gonna go in for the lid again. Mm -hmm. I just smell that it's different in every face. I went out on a, on a limb a little bit with this question. Straight. Now that the smells are going on the lid. This is very dangerous. Do not do this. Which means uh, trade things in the air. Oh yeah, I yeah. I found with the tea wares that uh, always uh, make me really nervous. We're professional tea wear smashers. Yes. <laughs> tea wear smashers. Right? Do you saw the cup? The people on the Discord server saw the cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They didn't meet a nice fate. So we've got answers rolling in. We've got D. A, D, D from side. the mountain. A from the village. D from the mountain. From the mountain. From the mountain. A from the village. Both great answers. I mm -hmm. went out on a limb. Mm -hmm. um, as far as I know, it's from the mountain. And hopefully there is no village. But if there is, A and D are both right. But for sure, D is the, D is the official right answer as far as I know. Mm -hmm. if, you, if I'm wrong, let me know if there is a village. But The Wizard of Oz is just cute and the legend is just awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up this week's round of tea trivia. Let's Hope you get had fun. Up. Let's uh, dive into some serious. Yeah, things. so now we're going to dive into the book <laughs> right now. Not very serious. Here we go. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes. All right, so here we go. This is the book China Tea that we've been working our way through. I like to just start with a quick look at the table of contents to show you a bit of what we covered. Um, all kinds of stuff, water, tea sets, tea accessories, understanding the leaf, appraising the leaf. Then we got into the tea sections where we talk about green tea uh, and tons of green teas were covered. We talk about dark tea and now we are in the oolong tea section folks, making our way through the oolong tea section. My circles are not very circular, it looks like a little love heart almost. And today we're going to be talking about these teas right here. Dongding Oolong, Iron Arhat. You may be asking yourself, what the heck is an Iron Arhat? I ask myself the same thing. Wu Yi Kasia. If you're wondering what all those mean, stay tuned. We're going to get down to the bottom of all of that. All right, now we are just a little bit smarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and hopefully a little bit happier from all the laughing. All right, here we go. Dongding Oolong. I hope that clap wasn't too loud right in front of my mic. Dongding Oolong, brewing difficulty, easy to learn, difficulty four stars, best tea tasting season, autumn. Dongding Oolong belongs to the semi-fermented tea. Dongding is the name of mountain, Oolong is the name itself. Dongding has a high quality and in a leadership among tea market in Taiwan. Okay, I'm gonna jump down and do these pairs as well, then we'll circle back. Mm -hmm. Wenshan in the north, Dongding in the south. Dongding Oolong is a kind of packaged tea in Taiwan. The name of packaged tea is derived from Anxi. The local tea shops sell tea with two squared edge paper in full bloom and phase contrast placed into four liang, 200 gram, of tea. Packaged into rectangular square package. Woo, that's a big sentence. Mm. Oh, that's way more than refreshing. In the package cover, there is the name of tea then be sold by package. This is to be known as the package tea. Taiwan package tea belong to semi-fermented tea. It is also called delicate, elegant oolong. There are two types of package tea according to its appearance. One is packet tea bar, which is representative by one Shen package tea. The other is domed package tea and Dongding Oolong tea as the representative. There are always a reputation that North Wenshen, South Dongding. All right, let's unpack this a little bit. Hey, yo, where's my notebook? Here it is. Pulling it up. All right, paragraph one. Mm -hmm. Paragraph one up here. Honestly, this is pretty much a typical kind of intro to a new tea, especially yep. one that gets the sort of, there's kind of two kind of flavors here. We got the longer description, which Dong Ding will fall in, and then coming up, you'll see when it's a little bit more brief. Yeah. Um, and this one, I think it's pretty good, except pretty to just up. to point out that a semi uh, fermented, it doesn't mean it's a 50% fermented, not mm, literally. Good point. It just and means it's a partially yeah, fermented. It, that, that's why in Chinese it belongs mm. to the light, partially yeah. fermented tea, which fermented is 
not off, even yeah, a it's good not even word. fermented. In, it in would the, be more of a oxidized, yeah, semi uh, partially oxidized. Oxidized, yeah. right? Yeah. So what partially oxidized just means it's a oolong tea. It's a kind of a, a mm -hmm. one of the definition of oolong tea. So mm. it's a lighter oxidized oolong tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point. That's a really good point. Mm -hmm. And um, we pref in the Finnish translation, you'll notice that it says partially oxidized. Mm -hmm. So Wen Shan in the north, uh, Dong Ding in the south. So this is kind of neat because it starts with it's a kind of packaged tea, which really first give me like a little bit of low end feel. It seems right, weird, like right. almost like just a tea bag sort of flavor. So, but I read on because I have no idea what it really means. Mm -hmm. So I read on, and um, it seems uh, it seems like it reminds me. And again, I don't know if a new to tea person or a new to Chinese culture person would get this, but it sounds like they're describing. Remember when we were in the pharmacy in China, how they package mm -hmm. up those. Uh, Chinese medicine herbs and stuff like mm -hmm. and the ladies they put those they measure them they have a little thing they slide that into the paper and zzz, they wrap that up and it's like a little pillow uh, not quite as puffy but like a little really little tight mm, wrap package yeah. not crushing the content but really firmly wrapped secure in paper mm -hmm. really so is that what they're describing here yes wow. and uh, that means uh, so packaged tea is actually trying to translate bao zhong cha which a lot of people know ah. as the pinyin bao zhong and uh, mm. it originates in right. Anxi, uh, Fu Fujian province. It's mm. just uh, how those uh, people traditionally sell their tea in those packages. Right. And even in the north, uh, especially like Beijing, people used to, the uh, old, like uh, decades ago, they were dominated by jasmine green tea. And that's mm. also how they have those too, a little right. package and stuff. So, Sold in Liang, right? Or yeah. four liang, right? Yeah, and here mm. they said uh, four liang is a two hundred gram. It could be two hundred gram. It could be one fifty gram. So it depends right. on the time frame. Even though liang as a unit of a weight in different time frame, it has different uh, kind of a weight implication. Weight, uh, how should I say that? Like they could be different. So yeah. it's not a strictly two hundred. Yeah, it's like so this historic, is modern, historic measurement yeah. of measuring a Different by hand. Time. How tall is a, how big is a horse by hand? Right. Yeah. That measurement change over time. It's a um, historic unit. Right. So around like you know one fifty mm, around two hundred around ish. that is not very accurate as mm. a two hundred gram. And uh, uh, I noticed delicate oolong, delicate elegant oolong was in quotes. So I was wondering, is that a saying or an expression? They often do that. It's a qingxiang oolong. It's not a quote. It's just oh, how we call fragrant, it. Fragrant qingxiang. Yeah, qingxiang. Mm means it's light or sometimes we know that as a green oolong or light oolong. Right, right. But uh, right. here is a word by word translated. So it becomes de delicate, elegant. And packaged tea is bao zhong, you say. Bao zhong. So that's yes. actually a type of, it's a, that's a different type. Is that a different type of Taiwan oolong, bao zhong? I've heard about bao zhong and dong ding kind of Taiwanese tea. Uh, Bao Zhong or? is just uh, how they used ah. to sell, and they all used to sell in that form. Right, right. Just uh, now, it's more when we talk about Zhong, we feel like it's more talking about the uh, uh, the north, the Wenshan Bao Zhong kind of thing. But uh, Dong Jing is uh, also used a type of Bao Zhong tea. I it's see. just uh, how they okay. were sold. It's right, not right. like. Okay. Uh, literally saying it's the gotcha. cultivar or something. Right. Just less people use this term now. Right. We right. Just call so in the Dundee. last paragraph down here, they keep talking about the they talk about the two types. Mm -hmm. So it looks to me, from what I can gather, there's two types of packaged tea. Yeah. What the according tea to the bar? Appearance. I don't understand. Yeah. So I think it's the shape of the package when they put it in the paper. One's shaped like a bar. No. The other one is shaped like a dome, like a little tuo kind of thing. That's what I got from it. Right. Yeah, it's a kind of a wrong, I think. I just confused, but I guess your understanding, which oh, ended really? up wrong. Mm. Close? No. Because oh. I feel like when you're okay. talking, you're talking about the package shape. I am. It's that, not, I feel like that's what it's, it's talking about. It's the difference about. in the shape of the tea leaf, the dried tea leaf. Wenshan Bao Zhong is mostly, uh, you know, the oh. straight shape, more to the straighter shape. Well, uh, like, the, like the tea we have here, right? It's not oolong type balls. Yeah, Dongding oolong is more of a ball shape. Okay. So Wow, uh, that was totally lost. I don't know if anybody else got that from here, but I totally thought because they said one is packet tea bar. Mm. I'm like, I don't okay, know the packet is shaped bar. like a bar. Because packet is still there. 
And right. then dome packet T. Again, I'm thinking the packaging is dome shaped. So I totally missed. I so it's no basically idea. just the rolled, like Taeguanyin style ball rolled. I don't. I want to be careful because rolling is a step in the process. But like, mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about the leaf shape, the which is like the shape a ball of shape. the finished T. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Oh, I get. I I know why this is called dome because in the Chinese it says, uh, if translated directly, it means semi ball shape, ball zhong T. Semi ball is Maybe a dome. Maybe is a dome, but <laughs> what it means is a ball shape. Just oh. nowadays we have machine that ball shape become really tight, almost like a, literally a ball shape. Like a pellet. But yeah. old times this mm. ball shape was uh, achieved by mm. hand balling and rolling. So when it's done super, by hand, super super hard to do. By the way, it's not the the finished tee is not as tightly curled. It doesn't look just like a ball right it would look right. more like a semi like, just to have that shape of almost a fully curl but not quite we did that right in yes. uh, in um in uh and see uh, is that in a video i can't remember i think that might be in one of our videos i'll if it's if it is i'll put a link there but we both tried that for a while like a, a half hour to an hour and made zero progress to get that towards the bullshit i made zero progress it was really pathetic it's so hard and physical very hard and physical Oh, anyway, not a fully related, <laughs> but super interesting. Oh, Jay said uh, he has to. Gonna have to run, run catch the rest the, later. Yep, yeah, that's what have, it's. It's YouTube. It's gonna day. be up there. Have a great rest yeah. of the stream. Thanks, JS. Yes. See you later. I hope we didn't miss you. <laughs> and everybody say bye. I would have never understood that they were talking about the leaf shape there. Yeah, same mm. here, Cindy. It completely flew over my head. All right, so next section. Um, Appreciate always before drinking. So this is a short little section. I'll just blast through it. Features of dry tea, tight and curly, like a bar, dark green and colorful with the pale white point like the skin of a frog. Enjoy while tasting. The soup is a little orange and it has an elegant fragrance and just like sweet osmanthus flower. The soup is refresh and smooth. It tastes sweet and has strong charm. Mm -hmm. And finally, I'll read this too. The knowledge about tea section. It's not Dr. Q&A. Not Dr. Q&A. This yeah. is different. Knowledge is usually a little bit about the legend, which this right, is. Right. The origin of the Dongding Oolong tea. According to legend, the tea was transplanted from Wuyi Mountain, Fujian, 140 years ago. It was said that at that time, there was a scholar named Lin Fengchi who wanted to go to Fujian to take part in the imperial examination. Because of his poor life, the countrymen gave him the money. Later, Lin has passed the imperial examination, hey, congratulations, <laughs> and was selected as a provincial graduate. When he went back, he took 36 strains as gift to folks, which were planted in Dongding Mountain. After careful cultivation and maintenance, there has built a tea garden, thus Fujian's fine tea has rooted in Taiwan. Wow, that's a beautiful story. Mm. All right, let's back up before we get excited. So appreciation before drinking, uh, again, I was still confused by like a bar. And now that we've talked about it and we know that it's ball shaped, tight and curly makes sense, but bar seems like it does it. Is there a straight leaf version of this tea too? Sort of weird. Here is the difference. If you, s <clears throat> sorry, nowadays you see those tea molds are machine made, right? So they are really just a ball shape mm. rather than, while well, here was uh, still talking about a, not quite a ball shape. It's more like, almost like the Tie Guan Yin we talk about. The head is the round shape. Ah. The tail is slightly straight. Like a tadpole. Yeah, like a tadpole. I remember that from last week. Yes. Mm. Those are more of a hand. If it's a f uh, by hand rolling, it cannot reach as a tight ball. Mm shape as the stuff. What? Or in my case, it cannot be bald at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just impossible. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. This part is talking about authentic old style uh, ah, Dongjing shape, gotcha. like the dark, like uh, deep but really bright, like a vibrant green and also that white dot almost like a frog skin right that's a really kind of a it's gross a, it's a cute but right it's our habit of uh, mm. visualize the look yeah i'm glad you brought it's that up because i had the same thing it's very uh, i don't know if it's chinese or or tea because tea is such a natural thing but it's a really Sound Could gross be at first, more but cultural thing because those are what you right. will see a lot, right? In daily life, remember we talked Especially. about the rainfall, right? <laughs> Lots of frogs, yes, and mm. that's how people visualize. And we like to use metaphors and stuff, yeah. And uh, so that's a, but nowadays you really 
you don't see those. Yeah, and I gotta say, en enjoy while tasting though. Mm -hmm. That was straight up. I didn't have yeah. any. I think that's pretty straight. It's just a little yeah. description of yeah. the tea. Yeah. And inside the knowledge though is really interesting because it looks like uh, it, it. I think it's pretty good as well, right? This fellow went away to do a provincial exam, but he didn't have much. <sighs> the cold smell. Oh, that's stunning. Rocky chocolate. Oh. Cinnamon. I oh, come here, man. Okay, I'm still giving it to you. We had to communicate and otherwise. The sweet barm, like. Oh, this is amazing. Oh wow. It's got that chocolatey, cinnamony, the granite, bed. tobacco, like all mixed up in, in one beautiful, sweet, floral, oof. And I found the better the tea is, the more the function as quenching the thirst, mm. it works really well. I'm not brewing the whole yeah, time Yeah, less is stuff. more with this tea. And I still, yeah. till now, I still have the Yeah, my mouth is watering mm. and I'm talking nonstop, <laughs> as is my nature. Okay, so the legend, back to the legend though. Oh, that is, and the bottom cup right. lingers forever. Yeah, the legend seemed pretty cute, right? The guy goes away to school. He doesn't have much money, so he gets some help from his buds, mm -hmm. right? And uh, he passes, which is fantastic and not easy. And to say thank you, he brings back gifts, which are 36 strains, which I think mean 36 bushes or maybe 36 yeah, young bushes. cultivars. Yeah. Mm. And they plant them and they start a, what a great gift. They start a little tea industry. Yeah, this is a legend. Check mark, Lynn. Way to go. <laughs> this is a legend. Legend yeah. always. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe not fully a 100% historic yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's not like, a, oh, it's 140 years, not 145 years or something. This is around a time ago. There's something. There's other version too, some family, Sioux family. So there are mm. different versions. Just a, a good story to know, I think. Yeah, just fun for us, but probably hotly debated on the island of Taiwan. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's head out to the uh, let's head one? out to the chat and check okay. out some questions and stuff. We're just getting a little bit smarter. Yep, yep, just a little bit. And JS head out and Cindy says retract. I like the metaphor, like the skin of a frog. Mm, yeah. yeah, really, uh, really um, natural and matches the setting. Like when you're when we were in Wuyi, we got. <laughs> we got poured rain on. We were deep, deep in the back of the garden. And it was just Jen, Jen Lee and myself uh, because we were so, we hiked quite a while, you know, like uh, kilometers, maybe five kilometers from this sort of main area where the tourists tend to uh, build up and flock. So it was just us. We passed one guard, right? At a certain mm -hmm. guard outpost. We met one other soul, but uh, by the time, and the skies opened up and the rain fell and it was just, uh, you know, you couldn't stay dry, no chance. So we just let it soak us through. And once you're soaking wet, you can't get wetter. So it became this magic moment. The air was so clear after the rain. All the streams, all the paths were full of water, like become streams. And we're just walking around by ourselves in this gorgeous, these vistas, check it out on the video. It's just remarkable. That was my, our own personal, I know, I see why you're so quiet. No, I'm a little bit nervous for myself because I really schedule because it's a holiday. I want to, mm. you know, a fine tea blast of all the top grade, kind of end of oh, the yeah. year prize to us. Yeah, in and our upcoming um, streams, we just yeah, stack up these really like, great teas. Will I just be quiet? My job is brew and sip and nothing going on. <laughs> Hopefully, I will improve. Mm -hmm. No, this, the, 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 um, the tobacco, rocky, the, the, the masculine character the of this rock tea foundation really is really emerges. coming out. It's mm. still got that hint, that thread of cinnamon, that um, that um, mm. that that is the hallmark of Rogue. But like a great, with a lot of the um, more regular or even maybe lesser rock teas, you really get this 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 real brash boldness, tobacco, rock, mm. mineral, to the to the detriment of the floral. And the delicate notes, like the yes. delicate spicy cinnamon. And this one has this one, that has this really nicely balanced. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. This really makes me feel like, um, you know, you really have to have a really good rock tea to know its dimensions because once the, the craze about rock tea come up, like in China and stuff, there are people collecting the 
drink the tea leaves oh, and pluck yeah. them <laughs> and roast them again and mm. sell that as rock tea to people mm, mm. right and uh, that if uh, the first uh, impression or most uh, contact with rock tea mm. is those ones so their impression about rock tea is just uh, burnt burnt straightforward roasty. like a really roasty heavy burn some people might like it in your face yeah. but uh, it really doesn't give any depth or any Character. softness no, yeah. that a good mm -hmm. a real rock tea should have yeah mm. yeah if you've been drinking tea for a while especially good tea you'll notice that uh what's the difference between drinking you know crystals dissolved in sugar uh, like a you know like a kid drink and drinking tea uh, and it's the tea tea bonds with the water in a way and changes the fundamental way the water works in your mouth you get this return sweet which is your mouth watering after you sip it's just you've got character there's a deep amount of character in a good tea which is completely gone in those mm. uh, sort of misrepresentations mm. All right, guys, let's head back to the Iron Birch. Arhat. Iron Arhat. All right, let me scroll down a bit, bring that onto the screen. I think I can move us around a little bit, can I? Yes, I can. Watch this. Oh, wrong spot. There we go. Now we're over there, guys, so we can see the book better. All right, so if you're like me, you're wondering what's an Arhat? I don't know, maybe we'll get to that, okay? Uh, Iron Arhat. Iron Arhat is the earliest famous one in Wuyi rock tea. Iron Arhat was named as Wuyi Song Tree's name. Iron Arhat tree grows in Hui Court Rock's ghost cave. Flourishes and amazing. Each may begin to pick, mainly picking two or three leaves, green skin with a little red. Elegant aroma and good aftertaste is the feature of Iron Arhat. And then some description down here, which I'll uh, forego. Mm -hmm. All right. So it took me a while to even remember what this is. So I had to kind of break it down. So I, I kind of jokingly said, what's an arhat, right? So I started with the word iron. And I remember, okay, so if you know iron goddess of mercy, Tia, Tia Guan Yin, iron, Tia. So I go, okay, Tia, what rock tea do, or what tea do I know? This other tea that starts with Tia. And I said, oh, I know Tia Lo Han. I think it's Tia Lohan. You got it. And I got it. So I use a little, yeah. little previous Deduction? tea knowledge to get that. Otherwise, I don't know, I would feel a little bit weird calling this Iron R hat. But we were talking about it earlier and the uh, kind of the very first wave of tea, you've got all those really, really, really famous ones like Lom Jing and Te Guan Yin, which it's not so uncommon to see those translated uh, into Dragon Well or Iron Goddess of Mercy. But I think it's way better to just stick with the regular name, Te Guan Yin, Lom Jing. And in the case of Te Lo Han, I don't think anybody would even know what you're talking about if you said Iron Arhat. <sighs> yeah. No, so, we... confusing name, that's all. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's how I kind of decoded it. Mm -hmm. And I think, was that the dude's name, the monk's name or something? Lo no, Han? no, it's no? a bush's name. Oh, it's it's the just the name, name. Okay. of the bush, one of the earliest uh, famous bush among Wuyi rock teas. Yeah, and so, so I was going to mention that because right. here, it, my interpretation of this sentence was that this was the first Wuyi rock tea. No. But from the Finnish translation, it's we, talking about the yeah, famous uh, tea bushes. The, like uh, right. in Wuyi, uh, mm. there's a, 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 a term, a tea name, a tea term, like Ming Tong, famous bush, means mm. this cultivar is very famous. Right. right, there's a top five we mean to. Um, have you been burping? Uh, me too. Right, we Very have a little chat. See, guys, we're getting those little bubbles and joy. Right, hopefully, there's no earthquake for you guys as it, <laughs> as it passes the microphone. And like the five famous uh, mm. or four famous uh, we mean right. do you know what they are? Um, it's okay. I know Taylor Han, yes, obviously. <laughs> uh, there are other uh, ones we will. Conclude when we're no. done. We oh, really? I want to. I'm so. I, I, I can. Yeah, I think I can do it. I know there's a couple tricks in that question because some of the really well known ones aren't you the can four take a basic guess. ones. Right. You can it's take a guess Han. or comment below. Mm. Yeah, why don't Just you guys guess? Have fun. <laughs> and we'll, we'll throw it out later. Right. I'm going to get back to. Yeah. So I asked you about our 
our hat and yes. no it's not a name it's the famous the, so it's the bush the bush was named right and, and uh, it was a talking i honestly the whole translation was confusing for me i don't really understand as you read that and um right you probably feel similar so just yes. to say uh this uh, um Han is also is kind of like uh, the earliest that could trace back to Song Dynasty, which is around the twelve hundred wow. to, uh, you know, nine hundred to twelve hundred is quite old. Just to say, it trace back really old. So that's what that Wei Song Tree's name. It means uh, it just uh, this Tie Luo Han. This oh. name was recorded in the Song Dynasty in Wei kind of thing. I thought it was a song like what I did about Wu Yi, but, but a more real one. Like right. a, so a Wu Yi song, it should be capital song S, a Song di- Dynasty. Because dynasty, yeah. it's small s, so for us, small s means a lot. Small. That means it's a piece of music with lyrics, not a dynasty. A dynasty takes capital S in English. Right. I totally, I, th- right. I literally thought it was maybe a poem, you know, because right. that happens sometimes. Okay, no, it means it goes back all the way to Song Dynasty. And okay, that's that a lost. Hui chord rocks goes the cave. I had a a, question about that because I don't know what it means, but it's so intriguing. You just (laughs) want to know more. It glows in uh, the Tie Luo Han, the bushes, they uh, grows in the cave named Gui Dong. Dong means a cave. So this, the location is called the ghost cave. Gui Dong. It's just a naming. There's no real ghost, of course. But the, but then, it is a cave. Like, cause how does stuff cave-ish. grow in a cave? The sun just shoot in and hit it for a bit, and then it's goes not away? necessarily have to be a literal oh, okay, cave okay. like that. It's just the so. location because the rock form almost like almost cave. reach over. Yes, okay. kind of thing. Wow. And then uh, that uh, Gui Dong, that cave is in Hui Yuan Yan, which is mm. Hui Yuan is a very famous location for rock tea. So that's where that uh, Tie Luo Han bushes are more found. Uh, originally, but wow. not saying all the Tie Luo Han you have come from that place. Right. It, it almost cannot. impossible. For sure not it can. Almost. A... It is impossible. Yeah. And uh, then we talk about uh, the plucking season, which is every mid-May. Mid-May is it's a plucking season and a usually two-leaf to three-leaf plucking mm. standard. Mm. And the color is a red, uh, green with a little bit reddish tone. And this is a very... Uh, it has a strong That's interesting. So there's a little bit of red-ish tone in the leaf, in the in the raw leaf. That's because I didn't get that from the uh, from this. What does it say? It says um, uh, green red. skin with little red. So it's pretty vague in English. Yeah, that's more of a brood leaf. Has a little reddish. Ah, in it. a little red tinge. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Qing Xiang Hui Gan means uh, it's very strong and a, a strong return sweet mm. and a very aromatic. So if you try uh. a bunch of uh, uh, rock tea cultivar, this would be one of the cultivar that is pretty m- to the masculine side among the rock teas. Again, it's more masculine than uh, like Shui Xian would consider right. more to the feminine side, just soft and kind right. of thing. Tie Luo Han is pretty... Uh, more, more of that, um, the, the, that the strong, rocky that, granite uh, character. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Right on. Let me check. Any more questions? Cindy says, I was reading a discussion about the difference between cassia and cinnamon. Oh, oh that's a nice oh, one because it's coming up. That one is coming yes, up right I don't away. really yes. know what cassia do. Cassia or cassia is. Is that a Chinese cinnamon? Someone was posting that Ro Gui translated as ah, Well, that, you've got a great, uh, great question there. Mm. And um, let me answer it when we hit the next section. Let's go. <laughs> Here it is, Wu Yi Cassia Tea. Mm. All right, so um, I'll read through it and we'll, we'll, we'll unpack this and we'll unpack that question because that's a great question. Wu Yi Cassia Tea is also named as cinnamon because of its taste like cinnamon flavor. So as a matter of habit, people call it cassia tea. It is one of the most famous in Wu Yi. It has been selected as one of the top 10 tea in China in 1984, and it has won the International Agricultural Fair in gold since 1989 to 1995. Right, so I did a bit of homework because that was one of my first questions is, what is this? Yeah, I didn't know that either. What is this tea? I didn't even know from this Wu Yi cassia. I had no idea. So I had to look up cassia, and it is indeed, um, there's 
apparently there's two plants whose bark can render something akin to cinnamon. There's, um, and one of them is this quote unquote Chinese cinnamon, cassia. So, and of course, that's why you guys they're call really it. They're really similar. Taste. Oh, they're really, yeah. really similar. I don't know. I didn't get into sort of the botanical connection. Are they right. different, different cultivars of the same basic thing? Are they totally different and it's just a coinky dink? I don't know. Oh. Um, but yeah, so this is Rogue yeah, I the didn't tea. know that because when we go to a supermarket, we bought those from like a mm. Western supermarket as well as a Chinese mm -hmm. one. I used them interchangeably and I didn't notice like, yeah. a huge difference. With yeah, them. really similar. But the, oh. the color seemed to be, I've been paying attention since I found out and the color seemed to be slightly lighter for the Chinese one. I thought it's just batch different. You know, the same oh, thing yeah. could have Absol different and looks. It, and, so it, I and it really could be. I, I don't think know. too much. Um, but I've noticed a trend over several packages. It's like that. So back mm. into here. Uh, so this is Rogue and honestly, that was the only real question. Um, yeah. Taste like cinnamon is a little bit strong. We're having it right now. It has a little, it has that hint, that suggestion um, mm -hmm. um, of, of cinnamon, which is lovely. And funny enough, for when I was just getting into tea and stuff, mm. I never tasted that cinnamon. Like I never understand what it means by cinnamon till I was pretty familiar with the rock tea had a different cultivars and comparisons and just one day I was like, oh, that's what they mean by cinnamon. It's really, I wouldn't say it's obvious, but some people who are more familiar or maybe eat cinnamon or drink cinnamon more might mm, be able maybe. to pick yeah. that up. But I did think when I read taste like cinnamon, I do feel that's really strong. In English, that is a really strong metaphor mm. um i would be more no. you know it has hints of cinnamon or yes. suggestions of cinnamon like yeah that's the chinese version too the aroma and taste have a hint of a cinnamon mm. aroma right on the other hand a cinnamon aroma how we smell that right that, that is could more... be different than how we taste it yeah and, I never and really the english taste, sorry about the zigzag but it does say strong taste here and I think, yeah, mm. I do get the little flavor hint too, that little spiciness, the tingling, mm. but it's it not... It does have the spice. Yeah, yeah. And so we it, call that rou gui as well as yu gui. It's not uh, said here. Yeah, I was about to say that. In the Finnish translation, guys, there's lots of great uh, opinion, especially for this tea. And that's, I will post that soon. That's, yeah, it will be posted soon and it's related. So I think it's a great resource. Uh, again, um, folks, uh, who, do you remember who asked about the book? Was it Zach or Johnny? Johnny. I Johnny, think. I think. Anyway, um, jo whoever asked about the book, I think that online resource where we have the finished translation is really valuable because it's, uh, it's like the book but translated, you know, with, with our, uh, oh, I hate, uh, now I'm bragging, but it's, it's a good translation. And this one is pretty, you know, like we see, it can be somewhat confusing. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys, so... Um, well, you look a little bit sad. I'm sad that we're coming, coming to the close. I had a really good right, time. I had too. a great time with you guys. Absolutely. Um, did we see what everybody was drinking? I think yeah, I might... no. Guys, give us I a... I know Cindy is drinking a rogue way. Yeah, let's see whatever. Uh, did Fernanda tell us what she's drinking? I wonder if she... Maybe she's not having tea right now at the moment. You don't have to be drinking tea 24-7, 365, okay? And you don't even have to be drinking it when you join our live stream. So I'm not kind of implying that because it really felt like I was implying that. But, um, but if no you're... No tea, no stream. <laughs> if you've put a tea on, shoot up and let us know what you're brewing. We're kind of wrapping up here. That's episode 24 mm -hmm. of the Oolong Tea. Oh, I know what I can do. Let me bring back the book. Mm -hmm. uh, and show us what's coming up next week. Oh, it has Ooh. that uh, cooked rice, the grain, that kind of mm. Mm. sweet. What's coming up next week is uh, Narcissus in Northern Fujian. I don't know what that is. Is that an orchid? Mingbei Shui Xian. Ah, Shui Xian. Mingbei. Mingbei. Tea cup Shui Xian. I don't know. North of Fujian. Mingbei, north of Fujian, Yongchun Bergamot, Yongchun Fo Shou, Shou, okay, I said that right, and Golden, I think we're doing three, right? Mm -hmm. Golden Sweet Osmanthus, all right, that's Ooh. coming up next week, guys, so tune in for those, 
for sure. We are, it just so happens that the way Sunday Tea Book worked out with the dates with Christmas and everything is I think we're going to be able to truck on right through mm -hmm. without a break. We are not hitting any of these sort of statutory holidays. So, uh, Fernanda's having yeah, a cold, cold brew, brew oolong. So that's going to be going on. We have got coming up this week on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. We are doing a... I'm searching my memory banks. We just did sleep. Mm -hmm. Next one is weight loss. Weight loss. Drink yes. tea for weight loss. Try this as well. Part of that series where we just get together with you. What that series is all about is share a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of TCM, casual, over a cup of tea, chat about anything, but we have a little topic to kind of thread the discussion. It's very loose and fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe show you some little points or ways you can take care of some sort of aspect of, of life or lifestyle. This time is going to be tea and weight loss, which I know is a huge topic. Uh, we're not those people who think tea is a great weight loss solution, but there are ways we can use it to help. There are also ways we can use it to hurt. That's kind of what we talk about, just a mm. little bit of this and that. That's on Thursday at 7.30. Of course, next uh, week, Sunday, back here at 1 p.m. for the next installment, episode 25 of Sunday Tea Book. And then getting into the holidays, check our schedule on the website. We've got a bunch of specials coming up where we're just going to do some casual lives and chit chat about whatever we want to. And we're going to drink some mind blowing tea <laughs> like Rogue Matao Yen, which it won't be because we had that one, but we've got a really nice lineup of yeah, uh, some of our really, schedule. really great teas, some of the uh, Supreme teas even off of the thing. That's going to be so good. I wanted to explain Supreme tea if I haven't, because I talked about it. I know this isn't a Supreme okay, tea. Okay. Maybe yeah. tune in later when we have a Supreme tea. I'm going to explain to you what okay. a Supreme tea is at that time. Okay. Fernanda, you're so welcome. Igor, you're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Let me for put my tea down. Thank you guys for joining. We really love hanging out with you guys. Uh, we'll, and thanks for keeping the Discord server so lively. Oh, yeah. Love to see all the pictures of your brewing setups, your tasting notes. Reiner wasn't here today, but that guy has got some serious tasting note <laughs> chops. Oh my God, just reading his tasting notes, my mouth is watering. I wonder if he can do some descriptions for, for me on the website. But really great, guys. Keep sharing your... Um, and um, who else? I think it was... Was it... It was Zach, I think, had a really... On the other hand, some of you have really beautiful tea the, tables, really beautiful nude, pots. Nude cup. Nude? Nude, nude cup? cup? Yeah, the, the oh, one from New Zealand. Somebody has a mug that when you put a the mug, hot water... Mug, JS, yes. you put the hot water in it and the and their, the portraits, their famous nude portraits, they're all dressed in clothing. When you add the hot water, zip, the clothing disappears. I think that's very cute. Super key. clever. But I wanted to say also, Zach, like people have really nice tables, beautiful teapots and stuff, but I really loved Zach's setup. Very functional. He grabbed a tea towel from the kitchen, set that up and get it like just... Brewing tea, however you brew tea, mm. wherever you brew tea, it's all really great experience. So guys, um, take care, stay safe, and, and until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. Bye bye.